Spring and summer are the most active seasons in my life. Namely, they inspire traveling, dynamism, frequent escapes in nature, new experiences. Probably this spring was the most emotional of them all. That's why for a few days I'm just trying to bring back my routine and keep my feet on the ground from too many emotions and new experiences. Nature always calms, trains observation and inspires confidence that everything will be fine. A simple walk in the yard or the nearby park is an act of kindness for ourselves, an invitation to mindfulness. Three years ago, I dreamed and even planned a vacation in Paris, but not all plans come true when we want, but when the time comes. The holiday was ruined by the global pandemic and I stopped thinking about it. In May, for my birthday, my husband and I visited Paris together. It was a very beautiful and memorable romantic experience. I'm not saying that if I was alone in 2020, the experience could be more boring, but for sure nothing happens by chance. I believe that everything makes sense and life always prepares you something bigger than you think, something much better than you ask for. I believe in God and His divine power that offers the gifts of life and lessons when it's the best for you. We had three wonderful days in Paris. My 26th birthday was memorable and I think I got the taste of a trip instead of a birthday party. But let's see, because plans get messed up by life. This amazing place, absolutely magical, without large lines of tourists, with its smell and vibe of the era, was the moment that I remember with the greatest pleasure. This is the Champs sur Marne castle. The small Versailles is friendly and rich in art, design, and a vast park abounds in flowers that follow me everywhere. Peonies. I always attract them because they are my favorites. Stepping on the steps of the palace, admiring the portraits and the luxuriant furniture, I was thinking about the families that lived and spent time here, about their routine, about the same problems that don't change over the years and the centuries about what remains after death and if someone still carries their memory.
Certainly what we see, especially the kind of people, nature, art, makes us feel good and manages to inspire us. But apart from the photos and videos, I remain with the memory and feelings related to this trip. The dear people who were happy for me and are always with me. I made a wish in Paris when I blew out the candle from a macarons at Ladoury, which of course I don't voice it, but I wish with all my heart that will come true. And I wish the fulfillment of all my dreams and your dreams, full of love and kindness. <laughs>